give the floor to 28th June. Mr. President, it's an honor to be with you all as a representative of 28th June to share our analysis on, the best, on how to best combat the many faces of religious discrimination, discrimination in the West Balkans. First and foremost, the region must come to terms with its past before boldly stepping into the shared future. This Sunday, March 24th, will mark the passing of 20 years since the illegal NATO bombing of Yugoslavia. The day is vividly etched in my memory. I was in fourth grade when the cruise missiles laced with depleted uranium slammed into my hometown of Belen in Montenegro. The sirens bailed as my classmates and I hid waiting for our parents to take us home. Today Montenegro is a member of NATO and I have the distinction of being the only speaker here who hails from a country which bombed itself. NATO Secretary General Soltenberg recently told us we were bombed for our own good and, the, and the joining the very same alliance which tested new weapon systems on our beloved country was in our interest. Whatever the case, in order for the Western Balkans to move forward, their national community must champion multi-ethnic solutions. My organization intends to undertake an ambitious project in which we will utilize our consultative status to focus on three key principles which will ensure the unified path forward, truth, reconciliation, and prevention. We sincerely hope that the international community will back us in this endeavor. In closing, I will again reminiscence to my childhood. The F-16, which bombed the country, my country, reach, can reach altitudes of 15,000 meters, an impressive feat and personal to the killing and decades of subsequent suffering it was to inflict below. However, Orthodox, Catholic, and Muslim alike, we all agree on one thing. Even at its peak, the plane still flew well below God and far short of justice. Now 20 years removed from that tragedy, we must do better. Thank you.